Hello, beautiful Capricorn. Welcome to Galactic Divination by Zan. I am Zan. Um, so a few things. Uh, with all my precautions and having the cards pre-shuffled, um, I wound up injuring my back. <laughs> I I really don't know how I did it. I don't know if I ever did it on the bike or if I, um, like my arm exercises, overdid it. Um, anyway, I have my brace back on because of the pain. But um, yeah, everything's pre-shuffled. And the other uh, quick and I, I just laugh because I tried very hard not to get injured again. Um, oh, but that's also why I've been slower at putting out content uh, than I would have liked this past week. Um, <clears throat> oh, but the other thing, uh, my 250 subscribers, thank you video will be attached at the end of this video. And I am giving away two free readings as an additional thank you. Um, the catch is you have to be subscribed and um, you have to leave a comment on the thank you video. Next time I'll do it where it's a little freer. Um, but um, yeah, any kind of comment, a hello, a emoji, whatever you want, uh, just so I know you, you're interested in the drawing, which I will be doing later this week because I'm almost at 300 now, so that there'll be another thank you and another two free greetings. So Capricorn, enough of that. Let's get into your reading. We begin with service. You put others before yourself, lessons learned from give and take, here to be of service to others. Yes, and that's what many of us are here to do, to help others along their own journeys or whatever it is we do as a career. I'm picking up a lot of doctor vibes right now, like wanting to help people heal and um, get better from their ailments and not suffer so much. That's one service. But as a star seed, another service is putting out that love um, freely and just loving the world and trying to heal the world through love. Um, as love is the foundation of all, once we get into that full alignment and enlightenment. And um, Capricorn, yeah, many of you, you just want to help people and help people find their, their abilities or um, counselors even, help people figure out their problems. Um, whatever your service is, it is from the heart and it is of you Capricorn and what you did come here to do um, to help others along their own journeys, whatever those journeys may be. Next, we have Life Path One, a trailblazer, leader, pioneer, risk taker. You do better working on your own, a true romantic deep in your heart. This does sound like many Capricorns that I know. So yes, Capricorn, you are a natural leader. And as like a physician, you would be working on your own. Yes, you may be part of a practice, but you see your patients one-on-one. -on -one, and it is better to have it that way rather than too many um, hands in the pot. And um, it is part of what makes you so special Capricorn in having that individualized attention to either your client, your patient, um, your, your um, apprentice, what, whatever it is that you are doing. And yes, this last line, a true romantic deep in your heart, you may have that temper more logical exterior, but you do have a lot of love that you're willing to give and share. You just don't like to show it. And there's nothing wrong with that. Capricorn, we all um, show our love in our own individual ways. Next, we have tragedy. Tragedy helps you find your purpose. 
Deep Lessons Concealed in Tragedies, Helping Others Cope During Tragedy. Yes, and it's the counselor um, vibe I was picking up along with the doctor. Doctors Without Borders, they often go where uh, tragedies happen, uh, fires, war zones, um, <clears throat> third world countries, um, just where medical aid or um, even counseling is needed. And this could be very big part of your, your uh, not only your spiritual journey, but your uh, career path. Capricorn, um, in being that doctor or um, on the spiritual side, uh, the medicine doctor, the shaman, um, the Reiki master, and traveling the world and helping people heal etherically and energetically, or um, in the Western medicine as well. Um, however, it is resonating with you, Capricorn. Um, and it is uh, finding the blessings out of the tragedies and helping people get through those tragedies and helping their hearts heal, not only um, their minds and their bodies, but their whole being um, is part of the process, especially during these very horrific events that happen throughout the world. And last from this deck, we have long life. Blessed with a good long life, a long life journey of learning, being happy and healthy at old age. Yes, Aquarius got this uh, same card. So maybe you have Aquarius in your chart as well. But many of you will be living that long life. And um, perhaps some of you um, have more of a missionary role um, where you'll be journaling a lot of your experiences in these third world countries, or for those who are physicians, how you help others and what it is to be of service um, and how to balance that all out because your own experiences will help others with their experiences and how to do their, either their own practice or when they do go to these um, tragic um, zones on how to handle it emotionally themselves because it does take a toll on you as the practitioner as well, seeing the devastation and all the injuries and the, the wounded and just the trauma that happens and that learning to um, protect yourself and protect your heart while you are being of service. So every experience you go through throughout your life, um, as you document it, you will have others along their own uh, practices of service. So I need to get a quick sip of water. So let's pull from the tarot. We have the Eight of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Emperor. I love that. Okay, Capricorn. So with the Eight of Pentacles, yes, it is um, a long journey that you are on and a lot of honing your skills and really refining how it is you are of service to this world and to others in healing um, people and helping people along their own journeys, however avenue you choose to take. Again, I'm really picking up on the, the whole doctor, uh, psychologist, counselor, um, more of the Western medicine vibe here, Capricorn. Um, with a small percentage of the uh, metaphysical world. So whatever you choose to do, it is um, a journey and it does take time to hone in on these skills and to really perfect them. But you are willing to take that time in order to be the best at what you do and to really build that foundation within yourself, that foundation of knowledge 
um, for what it is that you choose to do and the knowledge that is needed on how to handle people in these tragic situations and how to really, again, protect yourself as you do help others along um, these situations. But it is that mastering that you are headed um, towards Capricorn in what it is that you do. And you will be very successful along your own path. Um, even uh, recognition and what it is that you do. And I'm picking up a lot of donations coming to whatever organization either you you um, start or that you work for um, and being of service to helping others. But you will be at the top of this organization. Um, so most likely you will be one of the founding members um, that put this together uh, for your humanitarian um, aid that you want to get out there um, to the world with just using your medical background, whatever situation it is, and um, even your metaphysical background, um, because our bodies are so unique. Um, there's really no one way to heal the body. And um, you, Capricorn, you just want to have people well and healthy and help them as much as possible, that you are willing to cross those lines between the 3D medicine and the 5D medicine. Um, that's, that is what the a leader is all about. And we did get that with Life Path One. So just reaffirming, um, you are the emperor here, Capricorn, and your leadership and, and how you are of service to helping others and being that risk taker, like the card says. So let's pull again. We have the Two of Cups. the wheel and the empress. Oh, if this were a love reading, you'd be set. <laughs> but with the two of cups here, Capricorn, it's really honing into what your heart is calling you to do and what avenue of medicine or humanitarian work that you're being called to do and really pursuing that passion within you and keeping it heart-centered because that is where your success will lie and the universe will continue to bless you as you keep it heart-centered where you're not after the recognition even though that will come with it and you're not after the the money or um or even the, the brand that is going to come with it all. You're not in it for the glory. You're in it to be of service and to really help people um, as they need healing. And it is um, keeping it heart-centered where you will find all the blessings and every resource that you need will be provided. And with the Empress, it is knowing how much of yourself to give and how much to hold back when you need to um, take a break, even though your heart may want to push you further, but you do need to take care of yourself in order to be the best at what you do and be the best at helping people along the way. And with the emperor and the empress, it's just having you fully aligned and um, in balance as you go along your journey and you pursue this humanitarian work that you are seeking. And it is that full alignment where there is no difference um, between being over masculated or over feminine, feminated. I don't think that's a word, but um, it is now. <laughs> But it is having that complete balance and that connection to the universe with having that heart centered. And it is that intimate self-love that you bring 
not only to yourself, but you bring it into your practice where you are full of passion with what it is that you do. So this is a really amazing reading, Capricorn. So next we have the Queen of Wands, the Queen of Cups, and the Prince of Pentacles. So yes, whether you like it or not, Capricorn, you are going to be shining and you will be out there. You will be the face of this organization and um, people are going to want you not only to be like a mentor, but even to be a professor at colleges and universities um, of medicine or psychiatry, whatever your, your field of practices in wanting to have you teach other students. Um, but I'm feeling like that's not what you're being called to do, even though they will try to entice you, you're gonna continue with what your heart calls you to do. And that is to be out there in the field, helping people, um, heal and get past their traumas and really giving of yourself and of your heart and what it is that you have learned out there and knowing you can't rush anything. You can't be pushed into doing anything that you don't want to do because you have it all planned out and you know it's going to take time and you know it's going to bring those blessings that you deserve. Um, again, even though you're not seeking those blessings, they will come naturally to you because the universe will take care of you as you take care of others. Um, you're going to be so blessed beyond your beings and, <clears throat> excuse me, and you're just going to look back at your long life and reflect on everything and just be so grateful for everything that you have learned, everything that you have obtained, and everything that you were able to give back. <clears throat> so let's pull some clarifiers. But there's like no bad cards on this table. Okay, um, let's start with the Two of Cups. And we have the Seven of Cups. Yes, with your passion and your um, drive to do what um, you want to do, to be of service to others, you are going to have so many options out there. But, nope, that's the wrong one. Queen of Cups. <laughs> like the Queen of Cups said, you're going to do what your heart leads you to do. And there is no changing your mind in what it is that you're, you set out to do. Um, you will accomplish your goals despite the many options and opportunities that are offered to you. And many will try to uh, detour you off your path, but with having it heart-centered with the Two of Cups, that intimacy with your passion for your work, there's nothing that can come between it despite having multiple options out there. And we have the fool. And it is you just setting out, following your heart, um, especially in the beginning, not knowing how to raise the money to start the organization or not knowing um, how, how to even begin. You're just going to get out there and do it. Um, perhaps you'll have a lawyer friend to help you, hopefully. Um, I, I, I did see a lawyer, so um, hopefully that helps you, Capricorn. But it is just taking that big leap of faith and fully trusting the universe on this endeavor and following your passion with helping others and being of service. And we have the world. And it is that full completion that you will have 
simply for trusting the universe that is leading you and following your heart, following your passion and your desire to be of service and help others without expecting reward and without expecting a big payoff or you'll naturally have that recognition and, and that admiration and you will come to that complete circle um, many times over as you uh, build the organization and you uh, create chapters and um, everything else that goes with these types of humanitarian uh, projects that are out there, um, you're, you're just going to be continually lead led and continually completing each goal and each task as they come along. <clears throat> so let's pull on the Eight of Pentacles. We have the Three of Pentacles. Yeah, so despite wanting to work on your own, Capricorn, um, with your patients, definitely, and your clients, yeah, that would definitely be a one-on-one, -on -one work alone, you treat your patients how you want them treated. But um, with the organization itself, you are going to have to build a team of people that you trust, where you can collaborate, and you can create the successful foundation um, and getting it off the ground and really um, having it spread throughout the world. But yes, you do want to be careful with who you choose for your team as you don't want anybody to um, uh, oh, no, that's right. As you don't want anybody to um, take advantage of the organization or to even like steal funds uh, from it. So we have the hanged man. Um, <laughs> that's why I, I turned it because it looked like it was upside down, but no. uh, the hanged man. And it is that continual reflection of recentering yourself, making sure you're in the best health for for you, Capricorns, in order to be of service to others in the most functional manner that you can be. And that is going to take practice along your own journey um, in being um, aligned with your, your balance, your inner balance, your inner peace, and having your heart um, fully centered in what it is that you're doing and not overworked and getting your sleep and just really taking care of yourself. Like the Empress um, said, that self-care that you do need to do, but it is a constant reflection as well on the organization, on the progress of it. And um, even those who are involved, um, making sure they're on board with the team and not trying to cheat the organization. Um, because if, somebody is being malicious, then it affects those you're trying to help. And that is definitely something you do not want happening. Um, so you're gonna be very hands-on with this as well. And next we have death. Yeah, that constant rebirthing of how things are done because as regulations change or situations change, you need different contingency plans um, with different situations. Like a war zone is different than a fire and uh, what it's needed. So just having these different plans and continually uh, evolving the organization and what it is that um, you're able to bring to people and how you're able to help people and um, really just um, seeing how it can uh, be better effective for the world and um, making these changes and just um, giving that help out there wherever it's needed. And uh, there's a second um, note on this card in dealing with death itself because these tragic events, 
there are high death numbers and that is difficult to deal with, um, especially for like people who aren't fully met. Well, even doctors break down when patients die, but those who are more volunteers, um, like having a special training on dealing with death and how to handle seeing death um, is going to be a big part of your organization as well, because um, you, you don't want your volunteers falling apart out there in the field when they're most needed. Um, so um, it's such a weird message here, Capricorn. So like having that plan in place as well, where they are properly trained before even getting out there um, to help people. It's like you're you're checking, you have a list and you're checking off everything, every possible um, event that could happen in each situation, um, which is beautiful because you do want it fully covered, even though that's really impossible, but as best as you can, having everything covered. Um, so let's pull on the wheel. We have the five swords. Yeah, Capricorn, just believe the universe has your back on your passion and this endeavor that you'll be taking on. Um, and the, the however you, you give back if service with humanitarian aid and helping people, um, just believe that you are special enough for the universe to have your back and to be blessing you as you do give of yourself and of your heart and um, really get out of your head that you're just a person because you're more than a person. You have a heart of healing and a heart to help others and the universe will recognize that. So believe it, Capricorn, you're more than just a person. And we have the phoenix. I believe it's phoenix. Yes, the phoenix. I have my glasses on, so I had to kind of um, check. But yes, again, a, a rebirthing of yourself, Capricorn, as you go through this whole process with starting out with the full and completing each task with the world. And it's not only... This here is the rebirthing of the organization or your humanitarian aid, however it is you give back. But the Phoenix is you yourself, um, Capricorn. Each lesson you learn, each um, failure, failure, I'll put in quotes, um, that happens. It's all something to learn from that you can take into your practice and how to make it better and what knowing what not to do moving forward or how um, to, to even just make it better. And it is going to be a constant rebirthing going within yourself and within your practice, your organization. And there, there will be some painful moments, Capricorn, so do be prepared with that, but that's all for your better learning and to make this whole thing the best that it can possibly be. And we have the nine of wands. Yeah, many nights you will feel beaten, um, hitting roadblocks um, from governments and um, bureaucracy. And it's just going to be like a downer at times, but Keep it heart centered. Keep your your focus on the service that you have set out to do, and you will see the universe help you pull through. Um, no matter how beaten you feel, it it will um, help you come out on the other end, and you will feel like a, the victor that you are, and you will feel um, like you're making that difference with others like you set out to do. So 
Um, I guess we'll pull on the Queen of Wands. <laughs> like I said, there's no bad cards here. They're all wonderful cards. And it, this is just such an amazing reading. Um, we have the Six of Swords. Yeah, and it is being prepared to move forward and um, you're getting used to the limelight um, for some of you. And despite how much you want to be in the background, it is going to be there, um, but it is getting used to it and not running from it as you may be inclined to do, especially in the beginning. Um, because people are going to want to know what it is that this foundation is doing or what it is that you're doing, how you're making such a huge difference in the lives of so many people with your medical practice, your metaphysical practice, whatever it may be. Um, people are going to want to know and uh, there's no room to shy away. So moving past your own um, reservations on being out there in the public um, will really help your organization move forward in getting those donations. I, again, you do want to be careful with who you trust, especially with finances, but um, it's, it's going to make a big impact. And it's all um, from the work that you're doing that is going to really change the world. And next we have the Eight of Wands. Things are going to happen quickly. And um, it, it can feel overwhelming. And again, you're going to want to run away, but do your best, Capricorn, in keeping that center and remembering what you set out to do, because that is the true purpose. And that is what will help get you through everything. Um, and, and the quickness is more of like with the media and uh, the, the interviews that people want to do with you um, just to know like what, what it is that you're doing and this wonderful work that you're doing because everybody likes to feel like a humanitarian, but not everybody wants to get their hands dirty and you'll be in, deep in the midst of it doing your medical and metaphysical practices um, out there in the field and really touching people. And it is going to make that impact where articles are going to be written and um, even um, books, maybe you'll maybe you'll write your own books. Um, uh, definitely journaling uh, came up with the long life, but um, there there will definitely be those interviews and a lot of communication uh, around this whole project. And we have the four of wands. Yeah, and as you do get yourself centered and really um, used to the attention and the uh, camera flashes and the, the TV uh, sets, um, it will give you that freedom where you are comfortable and you can freely talk about what it is the organization is doing, what it is you yourself are doing and how you're helping others and really making a difference in these tragic situations and giving of yourself and how you yourself get through it all because um, you're not going to be afraid to really get in there even like, um, where, the, where they have minds. Um, yeah, you'll have guides, but you're not going to be afraid to get in there in order to help those who need the help. And it's just going to be um, liberating for you um, spiritually, knowing you're giving from your heart and of yourself. And that is your true purpose here, Capricorn, of what you came to this planet to do. <laughs> so let's pull from this oracle. We have protection. Oh yes, being out there in the field, you are going to need to be protected. 
um, perhaps you're going to need to learn um, how to use firearms. Um, some people don't like guns, but that could be something that you do need to um, consider for, for your own physical protection, but you also need your spiritual protection. Always have your angels around you, and you do have the universe there with you, God, um, the divine, however you relate to a higher uh, source um, is with you on this whole project and how you do give back. So if you do need to physically imagine yourself in this armor, um, I believe it's in the Bible where they have the armor of God. Um, you could think of it that way or just angelic armor or angels surrounding you. However it resonates best for you is what's going to work for you. So um, just always be protected, especially out in the field, out in the mines, um, these tragic situations, um, because you just never know what's going to pop up. And we have community. Yes, and you're set out to help the wider community of the world to be of service. And it will be the community who comes forward in volunteering. Um, again, you'll, you'll need to do um, some background checks, have some um, training for your volunteers, um, especially those of the community um, who do want to help and they do mean well, but there are always those who portray to mean well, who don't mean well. So you kind of have to be a little stricter um, in who you do allow to volunteer, but the help is always welcome and the community will always come together um, in these times of tragedy. So um, as best you can, Capricorn, um, with these background checks, I mean, they, they here in the States, they could take six to eight weeks, but you don't have that time. So um, as best you can, some kind of background check or um, just, just so the people who need the help aren't um, shorted with the help or the organization isn't taken advantage of. Um, but the community will definitely come through and help. And we have reflection. Yeah, and it is that constant reflection, again, that you'll be doing within yourself and within the organization and how you are giving back, making sure you're continually being heart-centered and um, maintaining the original goal of helping others and being of service and remembering that the universe has your back. So you don't need to worry um, as much <laughs> uh, going through the whole process and just um, following your passion and making sure it's on track with that continual reflection. And I do wanna pull one more Capricorn and we have abundance. Yes, and this is the universe taking care of you in all manners of your life, simply for doing what you came here to do, what you have been called to do, and being of service, and being a humanitarian, using your medical practice, your metaphysical practice, whatever it is that you are called to do here on this planet, you will find those blessings and the universe will give you everything that you need, um, whether you realize uh, you need it or not. <laughs> so Capricorn, I will leave it there. If this message resonated, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. Um, I do have a secondary channel, Galactic Love Tarot. It's a love only channel, if that's something you're interested in. And I also post exclusive content on 
TikTok and Instagram. They're the same videos. So if you like one platform over the other, um, you won't be missing anything. And all those links are in the description. So Capricorn, such a beautiful reading. I am so curious who this resonates with. It does feel like a, a personal reading. Um, but um, until next time, Capricorn, be blessed in all that you do.